Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video we are making an ornithopter. Now if you don't know what an ornithopter is, it's basically just a mechanical bird or a flapping creation that creates lift. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So what I like to do is get a seat. You can get any seat you want, but preferably something light, maybe like a go-kart seat or the cockpit seat. Um, I'm going to go with the cockpit seat just because I think it'll look a little cool. Now, of course, we have to start off with the aerodynamics, but uh, it's not much. Just two little uh, two by ones, I think that is. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first off, let's go ahead and add just a little bit of another aerodynamic piece here. And then we're going to copy that down like so. And to start off, what we have to do is get an OR gate. Now, if logic scares you, don't worry, it scares me too, uh, but this isn't too confusing. So um, we're going to go like that, and then we are going to get a, where is that? A rotating servo. So um, let's go ahead and put that there. That looks about good. Now we're going to connect this OR gate to the rotating servo, and then we're going to turn off the controls to the rotating servo. Now that we're back at the OR gate settings, let's go here and we are going to do uh, 0 0.50 for the duration and then we're going to do 0 0.50 for the pause. Now, uh, you can add whatever wings that you want on here, but preferably for me, I like to do the small ones here. Um, that just seems to help me quite a lot for some reason. These little sails here, really really change it so um we're just going to test it and see how the flapping motion is just for now um what we're going to do here is get there we go one of these guys and we're going to put it underneath and then we're also going to get where is that at i think it's in here yes the little anchor piece here so this is just strictly for uh like keeping us down on the ground so we can test the flapping method. So let's go to settings, let's go to space and then toggle and let's test it and see if it's going up and down. So technically it's just going up and then back to neutral as you can see. So it's kind of just a little bit of a degree angle change there. Not much, but now that we got that, let's copy the OR gate down one. And just so we know it's an OR gate, let's flip it. So we have an easier time finding it in the future. And now we are going to go, where is it? Right here, and we're gonna put 0 0.50. Now that's the only difference between the up and down. Um, I think that we might have to do a negative here. Yes, we'll have to do a negative. So let's go ahead and do negative one. And then as you can see, it's going all the way up and all the way down and all the way up and all the way down. So uh, pretty simple, as long as you follow along, you should be fine. So basically the first OR gate is zero, 0 0.50, 0 0.50, and then of course, whatever controls you want, and the output, one. And then for the downward, it's 0 0.50, 0 0.50, 0 0.50, and negative one. So we have got to copy that onto the other side here. I guess I didn't need to put those if we're gonna just copy it like this, but uh, just like that is fine. Oops, I did not delete that, I guess. All right, now that we got that scoot over, let's go ahead and disconnect any of these if they are connected. Um, actually, it should be these ones that are accidentally connected, but I think we're good. Sometimes when you copy and paste, uh, it connects the these guys to a different uh, part. So anyways, go ahead and connect that, and then we can test it, and hopefully they are not going the right way. Okay, <laughs> um, well, let's just go ahead and do negative one, and then here we'll do positive one, and there we go. Now it is going all the way up and all the way down. Now. We got the motor functions for the flapping, but unlike uh, a realistic bird, this is a little too robotic, a little too uh, dense there for the air. So instead of just having a flat surface going all the way up and all the way down, that's not really gonna do much. So what we have to do is get a little uh, steering hinge and then we are going to flip it in something just like that. So uh, we're gonna disable all controls from this, and then we are going to do probably about 20, 25 uh, for the strength there. So what that's gonna do is basically when it's flapping, 
it's just going to be a little bit more loose. Now, right now you can't really see that big of a difference, but that's just because we don't really have a lot going on on the end here. These are pretty light, it's only 1.5 kilograms. So we're gonna copy that and do the same for the further regions of the wings. Um, so we get a legitimate flapping motion. So uh, let's get a small uh, sail piece here. We will flip it around until it's to our liking. Now, I don't think you have to have these sails any specific way, um, but I think that it just looks better and looks a little bit more like a bird when it's like this. So, as you can see, we didn't even program the wings to be doing what they're doing right now when it comes to the tilting feature. All we did was the up and down, but because we added the uh, hinge that has a little bit of a strength disability, uh, it does actually help with the flapping motion. So. Um, it's flopping a lot like a bird right now, which is exactly what we want. Of course, it's an ornithopter, so it is working out perfect. So let's go ahead and get some of the lightest pieces that we can, and we'll build off the back end here. So um, we are going to do a little bit more logic, but it's nothing too crazy. If you guys haven't seen my video I did for Trailmakers, that was essentially showing uh, the cool turning that you can do with an airplane. Um, real jets use it in real life, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, but basically, it has a differential, but also an upward and downward motion for the tail. So I will show you exactly what that is. So um, I do it this way just so it's a little bit easier to understand. Now with these, what we're going to do first off is they're both green going up. So we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna go S and W and that should be perfect. Just so we have the up and down and then we go to this OR gate and connect it. And then we go to this OR gate and connect it to the one that's it's attached to. So with these, we are gonna do, I think it's A and D and then D and A. We'll find out, we will see. Um, oh, we gotta disconnect this one from the seat as well. Sorry guys, should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> okay, so now we have that. Um, I don't think that's right. I think we'll have to flip it. Yes, we will have to flip it. So it's as easy as going in and just flipping the controls just like that. So now, as you see, those little hinges on the back are doing uh, left and right tilt. And then we also have the up and down feature as well. So. We are going to add more of the sail wings on the back end here. Um, I like the, I guess this is big. I thought that it would be medium compared to that one, but I guess tall makes more sense. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and move it here. Now, of course, if we were to just copy and paste it and flip it like this, um, these would be connected and the differential turning or tilting, I guess you could say, would not be a thing. So we have to separate them by one block and then we will use this little tube ended or tube angled pieces just like that and drop it down, raise that guy up. Perfect, we'll do that on this side as well. So for now, technically this thing works, but takeoff is always a little bit rough with ornithopters because uh, programming the wings to only go like half flap and then once you're in the air at a certain altitude, you have to put it to do a bigger flap uh, is very hard. So what I like to do with ornithopters, which I'm still pretty new to, so I'm sure there's a more effective way, but what I do is go uh, get one of these um, pistons and then we go to auto reset, speed all the way up, and then I'm gonna turn off that and then spacebar and toggle, and that should be good. Now that I copy that there, it should be the same thing. Now, um, oh, start position, that's what I'm missing. Okay, go here, start position zero. So as you can see, when we're in the air, it'll be totally flapping and totally fine. But once we click uh, the space bar, it will actually lift the front end up like that. And now uh, it should recenter. Where is that? Did I not put auto reset on? Auto reset, no, start position zero. This should be working. Oh, toggle, I think that's why. Yep, it is because toggle. All right, so we broke a wing off. That was a bad start. There we go. Oh, I know what I'm missing. Okay, with these guys, let's go ahead and make the speed two. And now we should be good. So takeoffs are a little weird. 
when it comes to ornithopters just because like i said the wings surpass the belly of the uh bird aircraft i don't know what to call it but uh yeah so it surpasses it let's go to a better spot that was kind of a bad spot to be testing a flapping creation but uh basically as you can see the front end lifts up and we can actually get some good air just from that big flap and that big push so um there we go it is working and the tail seems to be working now too got the turning and of course like i said as you guys could probably tell as well we got the flapping now uh you could add longer wings on this if you want more lift or if you just want it to look more like a eagle or, or something a lot more scary like a dragon but uh that's what's so cool about ornithopters is that there's so many like mythical creatures that fly and there's so many like uh cool animals that we have today that flap so um definitely definitely fun to make in this game um i'm not the best at it but this just gives you a rough idea of what to do when it comes to ornithopters and just flapping creations in general um what always helps me when it comes to flapping creations is adding like a little tiny thruster on the bottom um if i want it to you know like go a little bit faster or something like that but um as you guys saw i had a cool little glide there so uh, yeah, super fun. I have so much fun making these things. I have so much fun just playing trail makers in general. But if you guys have any comments, uh, go ahead and say that down below in the comments. And uh, let us know if you have any other ideas for a tutorial video. Anyways, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I'll see you guys in the next one.